All right, uh, progress continues here with uh, the assembly of the turbocharger onto this 3B engine. We discovered a couple different things that uh, we in fact have the power steering pump available to us that came off of a, a 3FB engine and uh, it's a direct bolt on which is really good news. Something that we were struggling with and uh, we kind of discovered with a 3FB engine that was sitting <laughs> right next to this truck. So this is a nice stock unit and you can see that we have a just kind of a temporary belt. This isn't where it goes but we know it goes over to this idler pulley over here that we, that we got so that's good. And Mo's here, just kind of tell me what we're looking at from all these braided lines that go around. This is the feed line for the coolant, feeds it into the turbo. This one here is the return line, it feeds it back into the motor after it's been cooled. This is the oil coolant line that runs from the top right down into the motor over there and it pumps the oil right through and keeps that cool. This is the return, so that way that it stays all lubricated and cool when it's running. So basically, in fact, these are all coolant lines, all returns, and uh, you know, probably not, not a lot of high pressure work in theirs, but they're all bra braided stainless steel and can withstand uh, heat and uh, temperatures of all sort. So um, the bolting on of the of the exhaust manifold is there, and uh, we're running all of our lines. One of the things that we're noticing that the way it's designed is is something that we don't like. And what we don't like is this exhaust pipe right here. This exhaust pipe really forces the exhaust on the outside of the frame. And as a result, um, we just don't like that. And we want to bring it on the inside of the frame, right Mo? We could. We just have to make this pipe over. We're going to possibly remake this pipe right here and bend it so it goes down and then along the frame rail towards the back like a traditional inside the frame exhaust. Uh, because if we go on the outside of the frame, we're going to have to duck underneath the frame at some point in time. And we just don't want to do that, I don't think, at this point. That could change, but um, right now that's, that's where we stand. So, um, let's see, what else is going on? Yeah, the intercooler is next. Yeah, the intercooler is next. I'll kind of walk over here and just to reaffirm what we're looking at here. This is the intercooler part, and uh, that's here. And uh, it has its own fan associated with it. And uh, so that's the next uh, on the docket. It's a high quality aluminum radiator, really nicely done, small. And we're talking about this, and we're going to stick this in front of the radiator, the big radiator for the engine. So that's our next uh, venture, as well as this is the pump. Nice little pump, its own little pumping system. So we're going to install this as well. So we have a lot of uh, things to fit, but it's, uh, it's all doable. It just takes a little bit of creativity, that's all.